Hey guys, it's Max here. Today's video is gonna be a super quick one. We're gonna talk about how to connect an inverter to a battery without getting a spark. Before we go any further, connecting inverters to batteries and there being a spark really only happens on batteries like this SOK or ones that don't have an on off switch. So something like this, this Jacoper server rack battery, you could connect to the terminals to your inverter and then power it on without a spark. This battery is dead right now, nothing can happen to it. If I flip this and then I hit the power button, now the battery's on. Now if I was to connect it to an inverter, that's when I might see the spark, unless we use something that's called a resistor, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So that's why this battery here will spark if we connect it to an inverter, because there's no on off switch. These are essentially live terminals right now. So first off, if you're ever doing anything with electrical or batteries, it's always a good idea to use safety glasses. So if you're about to be connecting a system together, especially if you're newer, I would suggest to use some safety glasses. These three things right here are called resistors. This is what's going to allow you to connect your inverter to your battery without getting a spark. You can always connect one terminal of the battery into the inverter without getting a spark. It's once you connect the second terminal to the inverter, that's when the spark happens. In order to get around that, you'll pick up one of these resistors. They're super, super cheap on Amazon. You loop one end around the piece of cable that comes from the battery and you touch the other end to the terminal where you're gonna connect on your inverter. So I'm gonna to touch one end around the resistor here. This other end, I'm gonna to touch on the terminal that I want to connect. Couple of seconds and no spark. Now we're able to connect there was no spark when we connected it because of the resistor. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Odds are, if you're finding this video, you've probably had a scare trying to put together a system. So and I hope this helps you. Odds are this is gonna happen to you if you're building a 12 volt or maybe a 24 volt system where you're using batteries similar to this. A lot of our 48 volt batteries now, again, they'll have the on off switches before you even connect it into your system. So this isn't gonna be an issue for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I've also linked further useful resources for you below.